For you, was it a distraction to move out of architecture to make objects? Did objects seem less yeah, important than buildings? I, I started in 55, first with architectural things for the company, to Erwin Brown, especially the driving good was Erwin Brown. And Erwin was always thinking on new buildings for employees and uh, uh, exhibition for the new products, uh, new buildings. That was my first objective. Uh, and who, who used the word Snow White's Coffin first? Nobody yeah. is yeah. really sure where it's yeah. come from, but it seems it comes from the competition. Yeah. And it was, any, it was uh, with this glass cover. And the first reaction to Oh, it looks a little bit fashion, but nobody, I suppose, Gushenhoff, but nobody at Brown, Irving or Arthur Brown, uh, was thinking that becomes normal for every uh, phono. Uh, Incredible, for 25 Until years, today. the Until complete, today. yes. Nobody had yes. this idea. What was the reaction when, when you first showed this? Uh, the, the reaction was uh, different, very different. It was not a, a successful product. You know. It was a big shock? It was too radical? It was a shock. But at last coming out was that Brown, I told you that Brown was not very, very well known, even in Germany. But then that was the beginning. It was unbelievable. Brown, unknown, becomes worldwide known. Yeah, uh, uh, this was an uh, interesting product, in the, designed in the uh, in 58, 59. Uh, the software, nobody knows the name software at this time, in 59, the software with this uh, small records, which you could put on like that, and you could walk with that. Yeah. And with the air phone, uh, you, it was like uh, the later Walkman. Yeah. Fantastic. But the software with these records, the life of this software was very short. <laughs> <laughs> but it is uh, a system also, because it is, you have the radio, Separate, there's a normal radio. And with the, with the record player. Dieter, it seems there's really, uh, most, most chairs are treated like sculpture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is not sculpture. Yeah, it's, a, it's also a system. You can make rolls, you can change it, yeah. You can, uh, if you want, uh, uh, lower back change to a higher back. So it's a lot of uh, possibilities there which the user can use or not. In, in a way, you invite the user to become a co-designer, that you allow them the possibility of yeah, change. Yeah, yeah, a little bit in this direction. That ha what I had in mind. Uh, not as a dictator, but uh, uh, that people uh, should be able to arrange their own ideas with, and then that you only can do it when you develop a system, yeah, which is changeable. This is the storage system, which some would say is your most accomplished piece of work. Do you have this at home? I have it at home too. And you can still see, uh, I've started in my office era uh, with only one row with the metal chairs. Yeah? And later I add something because uh, one book and <laughs> more books coming. And so I add something and you can see uh, a little bit uh, the difference because also the improvements. So you always have to work with the things to improve them without to disturb the possibility to add things because the 
uh, it looks not different from the versions before. What you did here is to make every new thing work with what was there before. But the model now is when you have a mobile phone, each new one has a power cord which you cannot use yeah. with the old one. Yeah. But still, all this, this is to make you throw it yeah. away. This is as modern now as it was when you made it. I think so, because it is timeless. It is not uh, as much as design as possible on it. It is as few design on it. And that makes it timeless. It's impossible to say when this was made, really. It's yeah, that makes things timeless. What is the secret of this design? Maybe the secret is less but better. 